There is a rift in the collective. The humans have closed the doorway. But they are not even aware that they have stolen more than our means of travel. They have stolen the voices of our people. We cannot hear our brethren. Ourselves. There is a great silence. This disembodiment was too much at first. Many vessels were lost without the great weight of consensus, and some ceased to function at all. Humans might mistakenly call it grief or mourning, but it was much worse than that. We are not whole. We have no resources in the Alpha Quadrant. We have no permanence. We have no allies. We are alone. But we are the Borg. We will adapt. Alpha Quadrant, prepare to be assimilated. Hi guys, welcome back to Star Trek Armada 2, and this is Mission 21, the first mission of the Borg. Now... I don't know about you, but number one, that was the biggest Borg cube I've ever seen ramming into that planet, unless it was the smallest planet I've ever seen. And apparently the whole collective's in mourning in the Alpha Quadrant. Isn't the Borg Queen there? Isn't that supposed to stop this kind of rubbish? Anyway, I mean, if that was the case, wouldn't the uh, Borg from First Contact all have gone into a massive depression? Anyway before we uh, try and make sense of anything that this game's plot tries to dish out. This is the first mission of the Borg, and unfortunately as much fun as the Borg were to play in Armada 1, this mission is terrible. And some of the Borg missions in this game are actually a lot of fun, and I really enjoy them, but jeez louise do I not like this mission. It is incredibly dull and incredibly easy to win. The basic premise of it is that we have no mining facilities, no resources, no nothing. We had 500 dilithium which conveniently enough is enough to research the auto assimilator pod for our assimilators. Uh, the assimilators are quite cool. They uh, have had a revamp from Armada 1, they now look like the uh, ship from the episode Descent from Star Trek The Next Generation. Which is a bit weird, considering that ship was supposedly designed by law rather than anything that the Borg came up with. But again, we'll, uh, we'll kind of forgive the uh, screw-up there. Apparently the uh, Star Trek books try and explain it somewhat by uh, saying that... Uh, the Borg that were separated from the Collective, led by Hugh, apparently um, were in sort of constant war with the Borg, trying to get them back. So the Borg got hold of this ship. But either way, it's a little bit of a uh, this just looks cool, so we'll do it idea. Anyway, because we have no resources, the whole idea of this game is pretty much we have to assimilate ships coming through, which sounds quite fun. But the problem is that we are pretty much helpless in front of everything. So therefore, if we go beyond a certain point, the uh, Federation and Klingon forces in the area will just come and swat us. So therefore, we're left with nothing to do except just sit where we are and just assimilate anything that comes past. Now. There is a bit of an exploit which I'm going to do for this mission because, God almighty, I'm not going to sit here and uh, just assimilate cargo ships every day. Unfortunately, I appear to have triggered a Federation attack, which isn't that great, but I've managed to uh, stop one of their Akira-class ships really quickly. And uh, the upside of it is that Akira-class ships aren't really that strong, and the Borg Queen ship if necessary could probably take out pretty much this entire attack wave and the uh, best thing that we're seeing here is that this is going to result in quite a lot of dilithium and metal for me because all these ships are going to end up being assimilated I am the beginning 
except that the Queen's decided to uh, get involved here, which is really unfortunate, and uh, it's going to cost me a ship or two. But yeah, don't do anything stupid like scout or anything like that. Your job here is to just sit round and uh, assimilate these ships and then recycle them. Now, you might think that it's an idea to try and take over those Ferengi cargo ships. Don't bother. For some reason, the uh, Ferengi greed is more... Um, potent than the Borg hive mind so therefore you'll lose control of the ship so don't bother. The building on the right is a fairly unique building it's the Borg Recycler. Now when you recycle a ship normally in the game you're gonna lose a certain percentage of its value. When you recycle a ship if you've got a Borg Recycler you don't actually lose any of its value and since the Borg have no use for latinum whatsoever they use the recycler to directly uh, convert metal into latinum so you actually get a slightly better exchange rate because you don't have to convert it into latinum first and now here's the exploit I was talking about the Klingons have sent a construction ship over here which I'm going to assimilate and since I've got the dilithium already thanks to the uh, Federation sending those Akira class ships over I am gonna have the construction ship build a metal mining facility on this planet which I ordinarily wouldn't be able to do now the metal mining facility on that planet there is 12,000 metal so I've literally won the level that's all I that's all I needed to do. I have won the level now. All I need to do is wait for that metal mining facility to mine enough metal and um eventually I'll be able to transmute it all into uh, dilithium anyway and that will end up winning the level. I'm going to try and be a little bit more experienced. I'm still going to assimilate ships that come through, but I'm not going to uh, go out of my way to do so now because I've essentially won the level and that's where my beef with this level pretty much comes through because it's trivially easy to win it's not exciting because you can't scout the map otherwise you'll just trigger a game ending attack and really I think they could have done an awful lot better to introduce the Borg to us I know that they had to design 10 missions so one or two of them might be a throwaway, but really there's no excuse for a mission like this. I'm going to recycle the construction ship now as well. One advantage that the recycler has as well is that because it gives you back 100% of whatever was spent, you can build ships essentially for free. Because um, as long as they don't get destroyed, you can always recycle them a little bit later in the mission, and that's going to be something that I'm going to be taking advantage of. You'll notice I have the assimilators on auto cast for their auto assimilation beam. This is really important because if you don't have them on auto cast, what will happen is you'll fiddle around with them trying to get them to auto cast properly and then what will happen is that um, some of your assimilators will fire on the ship uh, some of your other ships will fire and you'll end up in a little bit of a mess whereas if they're all locked on um, high special weapons autonomy they'll all use their assimilation beams which means that none of them will fire and when you're dealing with stuff like cargo ships and uh, construction ships it's really important that you don't fire at these ships. You'll see that there is a, um, dis a disabled Akira class ship up there. I'm not going to go and get it because again that can trigger an attack. You'll notice that I build up, built a load of assimilator class ships here. That's just in case an attack comes. Again they're free so I'm really not that bothered and I'm going to pretty much wait for my metal to hit 3000 and once it does I'm going to uh, recycle all my assimilators and that will be the end of this mission. 
as you can see we didn't really get involved in any fights well we got involved in one and that was pretty much it and I'm not even sure that attack was meant to happen I think it might have been something that I triggered so uh, suppose here we go we're just about to reach the uh, metal objective we have achieved a mission objective okay so all I'm gonna do now is send my assimilators off to be recycled because that's gonna be it for the mission uh, I suppose the first time you're playing this mission you might not realize that you might think that uh, something else is going to happen but we have our foothold with these resources we can begin our campaign to re-establish our connection with the collective the alpha quadrant will fall before us and become our fuel for growth yes before I was interrupted I'd say you might not know this the first time you're playing the level and since the level doesn't end you might be in a bit of a panic now but don't worry all you have to do is just sit and wait at the moment uh, apparently 3000 metal and dilithium is enough to take over the alpha quadrant if that's the case why didn't you do it a hell of a lot earlier um, maybe there was a reason why the bog got rid of this queen after unimatrix zero and everything else she's pretty much been proven to be totally incompetent anyway that is the end of this level guys so i will see you next time a great number of ships have appeared it is species 8472 they are attacking everything in this system Species 8472 has unleashed a massive assault upon the system. We must retreat. We cannot currently take on a foe this powerful. Species 8472 is too powerful for us while we are separated from the rest of the Collective. The Federation may even fall before them. We must retreat and rebuild.